Hey guys, welcome back. Here's another useful tip for producing vocals for when you want loud dramatic phrases to be full and reverberant, but the quieter sections dry and intimate. This works well on ballad vocals, but it can be used in a range of contexts. First, duplicate your lead vocal and remove it from the stereo mix. Second, compress the main vocal. Then set up a send from the duplicate non-compressed vocal to a reverb. The wider dynamic range of the non-compressed vocal will have a dynamic effect on the reverb. The quieter reverberated passages will be masked by the compressed vocal, but the louder reverberant passages will be more prominent and audible above the compressed vocal. Here's a demonstration. Okay, so there's my lead vocal, and I'm going to compress it. So I've put a compressor across there, and I'm going to duplicate that lead vocal, but remove the compressor from the duplicate. I want an uncompressed vocal, which I'm going to send to bus one and insert uh, a reverb of Space Designer. I'm going to put a large plate across there. Plate reverb, 2.6 second vocal plate. Okay, turn that up fully wet. Now, <clears throat> what you'll find is that the quieter passages, any reverb which is coming through from this uncompressed send to the reverb is effectively going to be drowned out by the compressed lead vocal. Remember, that's a much lesser dynamic range. So the quiet bits and the loud bits in terms of amplitude will be much closer together. Obviously, they'll still sound loud and quiet uh, because of the tonal differences, but not so much because of the amplitude. Turn up the send a little bit and let's take a listen. It's all so quiet. Shh, shh. It's all so still. Shh, shh. You're all alone. Shh. And so peaceful until you fall in love. Zing boom, the sky up above. Zing boom is caving in. Bow You've never been so nuts about a guy. You wanna laugh, you wanna cry, you crush your heart and hope to die. So you'll notice there that when this is quiet, when the lead vocal is quiet, there's not much reverb coming through. That which is coming through will probably be drowned by the backing track anyway, but as the vocal increases in amplitude, the non-compressed vocal, that is, going to the reverb, you start to hear the reverb coming through the mix a lot more. So there we go. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and hope to see you again soon. Take care.